trends where sometimes you just gotta say no. In the early 2000s, bandanas were everywhere. The gang members seen me in the red, you know, they were gonna see me in the blue, so I ain't want, I ain't want no problem. In the early 2000s, dumb bangs was popping. Hold on, let me open my bang up so y'all can hear me. Um, <laughs> I had the whole club staring at me. Hello. And I ain't have no boots with the fur though. <laughs> I would be walking to the school bus, feet sweating, didn't care. <laughs> you were what? In the early 2000s, dumb bangs was popping. They had the side swoop bangs, the thick old like helmet bang. You had the long bang, the short bang, the Chinese bang, all kind of bangs. Honestly, I love the bang trend though. Like, I thought they was killing it. I mean, I would have went without some of the real thick ones, but even to this day, I still put on a quick bang real quick. I have my hair in a, in a, a bun now, but my curly bang is active. When I was in high school, it was super active and also super crooked because I was doing it on my own. <laughs> Now you see me, I got my little curly bang going too. I don't know, I feel like whether you're trying to hide a forehead or whatever, it's just always adding yeah, Sometimes you hey, just her breathe. I definitely <clears throat> feel like Aaliyah brought the side. Like she, that's her signature look. Period. You know like, without Aaliyah, like we wouldn't know what a side swoop bang is, okay? Exactly, I love the side swoop. That was popping, I'm about to yes. swipe mine real quick. Right, you can do it real quick. I loved that look on Aaliyah. That was definitely one of my faves. I don't really think I've seen her switch up her style much when it came to her hair. Like the bang, it was a must. And I, I think that she played it off so well. It gave like sex appeal without without not trying. It still gave you a little I see you. So you had the angles. So you could disguise your forehead. I know somebody like me, I'm always trying to find ways to like make my forehead look smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a good option. Nicki Minaj was such a trend setter with the whole colorful hair, the bangs, the outfits. Like, she definitely stepped out right every time. That Pink Friday era was huge for Nicki. I mean, she was on fire. What do y'all think about when they would do the side swoop, but it would really cover like the entire eye? I mean, I feel like I do that now. Like, I cover one of my eyes up because I don't want you to know I'm looking at you. Like, you know, I got a little trick. <laughs> up my sleeve, like you know, I can feel like I can do my little eye like this, you know what I'm saying? So, I, it's just like a little disguise, like you know. I kind of have nightmares about this one, y'all. So, what do you think about the hump? You know, when people would do the slick sides, pull their hair back, got that hump right here, you would see Rihanna doing it, Beyonce, like Ashanti, everybody was doing it. The hump was really one of my favorite hairstyles. It's so nuts that like it was, and I'm so happy that like my old computer crashed. So I don't have photos from that era. So nobody can really blame me except for myself. But I was definitely a victim of the hump game. You couldn't front that you never tried to do the hump. I definitely struggled with that hump. I was looking real prehistoric with looking like a dinosaur with this giant hump on my head. I used to put so much gel in my hair. It was like a cement hump. Oh my God. What about you, Alonzo? How, how was your hump looking back in the day? Try, I only had three strands of hair, so I didn't even have enough to do a hump. <laughs> It's more like a fever, okay? It was more like an ant pie, okay? It wasn't enough, okay? So, you know, I had to buy on some tracks and stuff to make my hump look good. How did y'all do your humps? Did you put the, cause I know a lot of the girls at my school at the time, they were doing like the black sock, right? They would put the sock in at the top right here. Then they would put the, you know what I'm saying? Like if you didn't have the money to go get your hair done, that's how you had to do it at home with the spritz and the brown gel. It'd be all crusty on the forehead. Like, look. Ooh, they had to put the sock on the head. Ooh, hair felt like feet, honey. Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't see socks in your No! It was so hot then, and it's so hot now. I feel like bandanas are timeless. We wore it on our heads to protect our back hair days, but now it's a fashion piece. But in the early 2000s, it was a headpiece that we just covered our foreheads with to complement our fits. Were you a part of that trend? I remember one time I did it, and I went to school, and I had a, uh, what I had on a red scarf on around my head. Girl, they almost jumped me. They thought I was in the game. <laughs> 
I had to take the thing off. Well, I remember if you were killing it though, if you were dripped down in bandana, whatever the color, it didn't matter the color, but if you had one on your head, your shirt was a bandana. You remember the when people would put the bandanas through their belt loops and it would look literally kind of like a belt? Like, yeah. the thing is too that I loved about this trend is that it was mad affordable. Like, you could go down to the hair store real quick and grab a pack of a ton of different colors for like, uh, what, a couple dollars, right? And then just mix and match with your outfits. Like, I need trends like that to come back. I'm trying to save some money. You know, Halloween, JLo's iconic look at the MTV Awards was one of the top costumes that a lot of people you know, put on with the white bandana and the, hey. the crop top with the jeans, like the, the crazy belt. I was like, okay, she, she I killed she, it. I look. 100% killed it, but you know, during the time, people were kind of like saying she did too much. Like, I think now I'll look back and I'll be like, yo, she killed it. But back then, like people were like low key, like clowning the situation, but who would have known that that would have been an iconic look because everyone's bringing it back. I had did a couple of bandana looks this past summer, honey. I had did a red wig, you know, and it was like, it, it was a little viral. I had my blonde hair. You know, the outfit was like $35. You know, it was a cheap little outfit. Um, like you said, Natalie, it was Are something very like affordable. Like, I feel like the girls used to do, you know, for the bandana looks. And um, I had did a little blue wig, and you know, I did my little blue burkey. You know, I just felt like the girl with the blue hair. Yeah. I only did that picture, you know, know, just to take a picture. And I went right back in the house because, you know, I, I wasn't finna go back outside because, you know, the, the gang members seen me in the red, you know, they was gonna see me in the blue. So I ain't want, I ain't want no problems. So, you know, I was just like, let me go back inside. So, you know. Oh, girl, in the early 2000s, every girl had a pair of boots with the fur. Ooh. I didn't care what the weather was like. It could have been dead of summer. My feet were so wet and honey in them boots with the fur. What did y'all think? What was your take on the boots with the fur trend? I tried that trend one time. My boots, um, it was no fur. It was more like a cat. So, um, <laughs> mine had matted up. And the first started, uh, you know, flying everywhere. And, you know, the girls was picking on me and stuff. You know, I, I could only do what I could afford at the time. You know, but I only tried this trend one time. And after that, I was like, you know, I'm going to wait till I get the money to do it the right way, honey. Because I ain't going to be picked on again, you know. So. That was 100% me, too. Like, I really feel like I had I had the boots that, yeah, the fur was a little questionable. I don't know what it was. It was more like cotton balls because it was all matted up. But we were trying. And I feel like as long as we were keeping up with the trends, that's all that mattered, right? What about you, Ivy? What were you doing? Were you wearing it? Mm -mm. I was like, at first, I really think that fur boots are going to, like, invoke some smelly feet very very soon right <laughs> like it's just the look of it it just it really it turned me off like i couldn't get with it for me that was a that was one i was not with did you like it when it was just a little trim of fur or if it was like the full foot and ivy i know you didn't like the trend at all but if you had to choose like someone said, you gotta wear one of these the full fur or just the little trim which one would you go with dang I might have to do like the full cap. Because if you're going to do it, you got to do it. You know what I'm saying? But we got to make sure that it's like a full mink or like a, a fluffy fur. You know, you don't want the fur shedding. Like it has to look good. It has to fit me nice. I don't want no bulky type of boot. I can't. <laughs> I feel that. Right. And I feel like if you do boots with the fur, you have to go all out. Like some of the girls is wearing arm fatigue. You know what I'm saying? With with a little jacket. I feel like, you know, you need to have something that kind of fits the boots with the fur type of vibe. Like, it, it can't just be paired with anything. Some of these um, celebrities and trendsetters were out here wearing just anything. They were wearing silk and stuff with the boots with the fur. I'm like, come on. You need a heel with that one, girl. Right. Like, do not be coming out here with these boots with the fur. Like, the army fatigue, that was a vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's supposed to look like you're supposed to wear a cute little jacket, some yeah. jeans. Like, it's not a dressy vibe. I really hated when they would try to, like, dress it up. Be wearing these boots with the fur on the red carpet with suits and all that. I'm like, come on. Like, so what is, like, a, a key outfit for boots with the fur? Because that is a statement piece in itself. How do you dress it up from there? I'm gonna wear a white blazer, like 
I have some, um, I got these YSL boots, the ostrich boots. They ain't purple, but you know, they're like the ostrich. Well, they $10,000. Oh, girl, um, come on. Now I had to put that corn out there, girl, you know. <laughs> but, you know, I feel like I would do like maybe a white blazer, something very, because the boot is a statement piece. You know, I don't feel like it should be too many prints, too much color, you know, because it's gonna throw the whole outfit out. Like I would pair it with something simple, like a white blazer with maybe a um a short skirt, like a short mini skirt, and then you can do the fur boots as your piece. 100%. Personally, I feel like I'm gonna wear boots with the fur with the whole outfit that I'm supposed to look like. I don't know, I'm in uh, the mountains of Colorado, okay? Like I learned from when I was little, okay? If it's not cold enough, I'm not going to wear this. So I need the full jacket. I need some cute little jeans or whatever the case may be with my boots, with the fur. You know what I'm saying? I'm going for the full vibe. Maybe a little scarf, maybe a little hat. You feel me? Ooh, I yes. like that. I see that. I like that. <laughs> you wore what?